Sí. <laughs> if you're not sitting down for this one, you probably should, because I'm about to reveal something never before shared in my video production career. I know that many of you will be utterly shocked by this information, but I can no longer hide it from the world. The truth is, I'm kind of a weird dude. Okay, jokes aside, I'm pretty sure that if you've watched any of my other videos, you've realized that there's something a little different about me. And no, I don't just mean the fact that I roll around like a cheap front former's knockoff. Though that definitely adds to my weirdness. Today I'm going to share with you just how deep my difference goes. I've mentioned previously that my formative years were spent at schools specifically designed for children with disabilities. This is because, unlike those of other nations, our education system has decided that it is easier and more efficient to educate the disabled separately from regular kids. The pros and cons of this strategy could be good material for a future rant, but for now, the point is that even in a community designed with misfits and outcasts in mind, I still found myself hanging around on the sidelines. Like a lot of 90s kids, I grew up watching things such as Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and what was then called WWF Wrestling. As we got older, the other kids moved on to things like sports and cars. I, however, did not. I've always had a mind for fiction and fantasy, and one of the things I became known for was always carrying books around. South African culture is heavily focused on sports like rugby, football and cricket, and tends to revere national athletes as almost mythical figures. But personally, I've never really cared about mainstream sports, and I honestly still don't. I know this upset my parents quite a lot when I was a teenager, because instead of sitting in the lounge with them and my brother and watching whatever big game happened to be on at the time, I usually just went to the little TV in our spare room to find something that actually interested me. I think my mom in particular hoped that I would eventually grow out of it and become normal, but I never did. I suppose my view of the world has also been shaped by my isolation from mainstream life. I've never been able to go out and get drunk with friends, so when I hear people talk about the times they got totally wasted and woke up the next day feeling like death, I really don't see the appeal. I also tend to think more intensely than most 28 year olds about why things are the way they are and I'm not a big fan of authority or orthodox culture which I know can be quite annoying to some of the people around me. I do often find myself wishing I was just like the average guy because when you constantly question the way others view the world life gets pretty lonely but mostly, I think the fact that I have an unusual perspective might allow me to help people and contribute to society in a manner that others might not. By the way, yes, I do still watch wrestling, and no, I don't care if you think it's stupid because it's fake. So, what about you? Are you an outsider as well? Or can you more easily pass for normal? I'd be interested to learn about some of your experiences, so feel free to leave a comment and share this video if you like. If you happen to have a little spare cash 
and you enjoy my content, support via PayPal would be most welcome. For now, farewell.